Do you think it was a mistake to sort of eventually go into the US market? Possibly looking back at it now because it really pissed Vince off. Um, and on the way, I remember on the way, Randy Savage is going to be my headliner. And Vince offered him three times as much money for him to turn around and go back. Right. That was when I'd realised I'd tickled the belly of the of the gorilla. <laughs> like the 500, you know, the 500 pound gorilla versus the 20 pound monkey. Um, and um, yeah, it was it was it was a real you know, eye opener to what we had done and annoyed, you know, annoy, awakened the giant, so to speak. Um, and then he then made sure that he started taking WWF into the UK to squash us, which was sort of the end end of our, you know. But we had three great years at it. And as I said, three great years of building enormous friendships and stories that, you know, I'll take them a grave with these guys, you know. You mentioned the Macho Man uh, incident. Uh, he was scheduled to, I think, take on Jeff Jarrett uh, for the WWA title. Um, but so is it confirmed that uh, Vince McMahon paid him double the amount of money to basically no show the event? Yep. yep. Oh, it, was, it may not have been Vince himself. But someone. Uh, Macho, Randy said to me it was Vince who rang him. For real? Wow. So I'd, I'd take that on, you know, for, for what he said. Yeah. Um, and he, I remember him ringing me and I was, just, I was devastated. He goes, I just got a call from Vince and he's offered me double and, you know, I've got a family and, you know, I'm not, I'm at, I'm at a contract and he's offering me potential, you know, come back on to, you know, into the company. Um, I've got to turn around. You know, and mate, at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. Um, wow. It was, you know, I had a contract with him, but, you know. If he was turning around and wasn't coming, he was turning around and not coming. Far out. And I guess uh, there's been lots of stories about Randy Savage sort of living the gimmick. Was he was he macho man Randy Savage when you're talking to him, or was he? Uh... Yeah, I, I went down. To, I went down to Florida a couple of times to meet with him, and he had this um, Viper motor car, and it was exactly what you expect Randy Savage to drive this muscle car. And it was, yeah. And he was very much the you know in character the whole time. And the voice always got me. It, you know, it, was, it was so deep. Yeah. Uh, I guess another online um, report uh, which you can uh, dismiss or confirm, apparently um, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, they were on board to come to WWA, but reports that Kevin Nash became weary of Andrew McManus. Is that just a rumour, but they signed a WWE deal instead? Or Well, I don't know. I've never heard that one. He was weary of me. Um, but I do remember... We were on a train, I think, travelling from Zurich back to London and Jeff and I are at the back of the train and we are on the phone to him and he confirmed he was coming across. Um, and then about a week later, Jeff rang and he's gone, he's gone to WWE. It was a little bit much like the uh, anything we were trying to do and WWE found out about it, they were squashing it. Because, mm. I mean, they would obviously go on to reform the NWO. And I, I mm. remember sort of back around that time and thinking, oh, great, the N you know, reforming the NWO, probably one of the uh, best sort of groups, you know, of the Attitude Era next to DX. But they didn't really do much with them. Do you, so do you think, uh, I mean, you know, little WWA doing what you guys are doing, but they'll just try to poke holes in everything as much as possible just for the sake of it? I'd like to say yes. And I, I have, that's my opinion. But then, if you spoke to them, they probably wouldn't know who the, who we are. You know, yeah. <laughs> who we were. Um, but we we're on their radar and and things like that. And I guess also, if I was Kevin, I'd have been flouting something an offer like from us and underneath Vince's nose, going, "Oh, just before I go and sign this, just letting you know, knowing the man that Vince is, he'd go nowhere in the world. I'll you know, I'll fix you know, especially now and especially the." the story out there about the, the Randy scenario saga. So um, I'd pretty well, you know, without putting my uh, yeah, house on it, think that once WWF got wind of anything we were doing, they would they were trying to stop it. If, if it was if it was talent that was valuable or there was any value to it, 